down here in Detroit, team number 1305, an absolutely phenomenal team, Ice Cube, absolutely rocking it here. I'm here with uh, Jared, Nick, and Connor, and we're gonna check out some really cool things on this robot and behind the bumpers. Starting out here, I think really the show that everybody's looking at is the amazing turret mechanism you have here. So let's start talking about some of the mechanical features that are on this. Thank you. Um, so basically we use a 3D printed gear that, has a, that is, has a belt to a bag motor over here with an encoder on it. And uh, this allows the tower to rotate at 90 degree increments. And then the, uh, the gear is also, mount, sorry, the tower is mounted to a bearing CNC out of Lexan, which sort of allows the whole tower to rotate. Um, it's a two-stage elevator tower that allows us to spin ro like that, rotate, and allows us to score from all sides. Uh, we can hit all levels of the rocket, and uh, yeah, that's about it. So, Nick, we're going to show off actually some of the different positions that are on here as well with uh, PID loops that you've been programming. So, why don't you walk us through that, and we'll have the robot run as that happens. Right, so our robot's running two different PID loops. The first one we use is for the turret, so we can set our 90-degree positions, our different 90-degree positions. And so this allows us to score on all sides of our robot, speeding up our cycle times. The second PID loop we run is on our tower for our first stage, as we originally had a pneumatic in there, but that slowed it down for the cargo ship, so we added belt-driven, so we can have a middle stage for the, for the cargo ship, and then we can go all the way up for the first level and third level. So we're going to wrap up here and actually show off some of the climber uh, that's on this. It's been very effective uh, for your team as well. Uh, so Jared, why don't you wrap us up and let's talk a bit more about the climber. So by far, my favorite part of our robot is the climb. So with the 360 tower, we couldn't have stilts sticking up or anything. So by doing this, we actually had to make our climb system underneath our robot. So we created a scissor lift kind of, and what this does is actually climbs really well but that's okay, yeah. <laughs> Broke a bracket there, but that's okay. So this allows us to climb with other robots and because we don't use a intake to lift us up. Well, 1305 looking absolutely incredible here in Detroit. Can't wait to see more of your robot coming up. Good luck the rest of the competition. Thank you. Thank you. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.